Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sachin. This is Joel. And we are from Magnet Systems. Uh, for those who are not familiar with Magnet Systems, uh, we've been around in business for uh, more than seven years. We provide uh, mobile networking solutions to mobile operators all over the world. Um, recently, we have launched our WebRTC gateway, um, which basically acts as a bridge between telco and web domains. So at a very high level, it does like three things. It accepts HTTP and SIP traffic over WebSockets, converts that into SIP signaling. It transcodes media whenever required. It handles media, of course. And the most important uh, feature of our WebRTC gateway is that it provides REST-based APIs that operators can use to expose their IMS services to the web domain. With those APIs, Web developers can develop cool applications and do a variety of things. So that's basically a very quick uh, highlight of our WebRTC gateway. Uh, so we are going to demonstrate a use case, uh, not really demonstrating our WebRTC gateway functions, but it's the, it's the use case that is enabled by our WebRTC gateway. And uh, whenever the technology becomes reality, we expect such use cases to be there in the market. So uh, Joel will demonstrate that. All right. So um, imagine a call center where a person can not only provide verbal information, but can uh, also share things such as video and more rich media. Um, this possibility enables first responders to be more prepared than they would normally be uh, for the situation at hand. Um, so for example, uh, here I am at the expo, and I see a, a room full of people uh, really suffering from exhaustion uh, from all these demos. So uh, we're definitely going to need some help around here. I'm going to go ahead and place a emergency call from the phone. And at this time, uh, they see my call coming through, the dispatcher does. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead and let them know, you know, I let them know about the seriousness of the situation at hand. Um, so then they request to uh, initiate a video share. Uh, so that they can uh, really assess the situation uh, firsthand. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of show, scan the room. See if we can let's see. It's a little, a little lagged, as you've seen from all the other demos, but it should update. Good, good. Let's see. Is it updating? It's updating on the phone. There we go. So yeah, so as you can see, you know, I'm going to scan the room so that they can, they can really see the situation that we're dealing with here. Um, and the dispatcher, understanding uh, the situation we have now, they uh, locate the nearest emergency vehicle. They see one that's not too far away, and they're going to go ahead and provide them with our location and connect the two of us. Uh, so at this point, they go ahead and transition it to a uh, video call between me and the first responder, so that the first responder can be uh, more prepared so that they know exactly what they're going to have to do when they get here. Um, and thanks to this uh, enriched call, they're able to uh, make sure they stop by Starbucks drive through to pick up some caffeine for all you uh, that are going to need it. Uh, so that's, our, um, that's just one example of a use case um, that would work with our, uh, our gateway and um, it just uses the enriched media to, um, to enhance certain situations. So, so what we wanted to uh, demonstrate with this use case is really uh, a situation when the WebRTC clients become a reality and uh, when there will be a seamless interaction between uh, web communications applications and the devices. That's what we wanted to demonstrate here. And uh, I don't think uh, it will be uh, far out. I think we're expecting this to become a reality pretty soon. Uh, so that's, that's all about our little use case. Thank you.